Hi, I'm Lisa Campbell. I work for MD Anderson Cancer Center. I'm an HR recruiter. Okay. I was in the United States Army. Um, I was deployed to Operation Provide Comfort in Interlake Air Force Base, Turkey. My role there, I was an administrative specialist, uh, 71 Lima, uh, in charge of um, mapping kind of enemy territory. I started looking for a civilian position in about March of 1998. I left the military February 1998, so I started looking about March, between March and May, really hard, um, once I got home from the, the Army. So. When I got out of the military, um, we had on-base uh, Army transition resources. Um, when I got to Houston, I wasn't familiar with um, too many of the resources that were available to me. The Texas Workforce Commission um, provided me assistance, and they had a veteran uh, representative there who actually, you know, gave basic information or um, tips and leads for different positions that may be hiring veterans, but it was nothing like it is today. Um, it was a little frustrating um, feeling like you would serve your country and you come home and it was hard to find employment. Um, that was a bit of a surprise for me after serving seven and a half years in the service. Um, so most of that was, you know, not knowing where to, to look, what company would actually hire me and, um, you know, the transferable skills, not understanding what that meant. So the Texas Workforce Commission was very instrumental in um, assisting me with, um, you know, the tips. The tips that he and the and the leads were what helped me the most from them. Um, it having someone to talk to that was a veteran himself, I think, was instrumental. You know, the other part of that was once you get that direction, you'll know what companies to go for post office, um, hospitals, UPS, you know, some, some of that direction on where you could actually take your military experience without an education. At that time, I didn't have my degree. So it was, you know, hard to just step from the military into a job that wasn't an entry level position. So. Okay, um, I am an HR uh, human resource recruiter. Um, I've been a recruiter uh, in mail, make a year. Um, it's a new promotion for me. I started at MD Anderson in October 2006 as a um, administrative assistant. I was promoted six months later to a senior administrative assistant, and I took a couple of lateral moves to put me in a direction. I, I started off in materials management. I went to surgical oncology where I was supporting a department administrator. Um, and then I applied for a position in human resources as an assistant, which was a lateral move. I got there and worked hard and was approached about potentially applying for a recruiter position. I applied for the recruiter position and I got the job. Working at MD Anderson and being in the military, there, the similarities there are the camaraderie. Um, I've been in three departments, and in each department we had a very strong uh, sense of camaraderie. Um, the teams are like families. Often, I often go back to my old departments and um, socialize with some of the people that are still in the departments because we're like a family. Um, we've gone from, you know, one extreme. We go from one extreme to the next. You know, you're out there doing a mission for the department, go to the next department, you're doing a mission for the department. So it's the same thing as far as like with your military life. You're out there, you're on a mission, um, you're deployed, you're doing the job, you come back. It's the same thing working in the hospital. You're deployed to do what it takes to bring the best employee in to the hospital to make cancer history. When I got out of the military in 1998, I came back home to Houston, I'm from here, and MD Anderson was a buzz in the community. Um, everyone was talking about the hospital, so I th thought to myself, you know, after frustrating and looking and looking, that I would try to apply with MD Anderson. Well, 
I came to MD Anderson and I took a typing test. Now, I was administrative specialist in the military, but I guess I got nervous and I wasn't able to pass the typing test in 98. Gave up a little bit and um, moved forward with some positions in between time. Nothing really career slated. Um, and I came back in about 2005 and applied with them again. Took the test and passed. Um, was sent on a few interviews. About my sixth uh, department, I was um, extending an offer and been there ever since. October 30th, 2006 is when I started. So, Well, I feel like my military background has positively um, impacted me because I'm disciplined. I, I bring discipline. I'm, I bring my time management skills. I bring the ability to work with an executive leadership because I worked with um, colonels, generals, and different titles like that in the military. So they're the same. They, you know, just translate differently. Um, uh, my drive, you know, I, my determination. So, and, and just my the ability to work across teams, you know, the camaraderie in the military and the experience of having the camaraderie has transferred over to the civilian position. So since I've been at MD Anderson, I would say the single most thing is mentorship. Um, getting involved with a mentor, um, becoming a mentee, letting someone develop me as far as like giving me tips and pointers on the direction that I need to go with my career. Uh, looking at my resume, giving me um, ideas about what I need to change on my resume what um, books I need to read to, to gain knowledge and experience. So that's what I would say. Um, the medical center is MD Anderson, the hospitals in the medical center. Um, the experience of the job fairs and, and things that are tailored towards veterans motivates me so much. Um, I'm involved with those. I, I go out to the job fairs. I, I talk to the veterans. Um, it's, it's passionate for me because it's something that I'm passionate about because I've been on that side. So it, you know, to see a veteran come in looking a little frustrated, uh, it, you know, being able to talk to them and make them understand that we're here to help you, you know, um, get you to the best direction that we can, um, get you employed, uh, get, you know, get you some assistance with your resume. I, it's wonderful, um, the things that they're doing right now. So the Hiring Red, White, and You um, event that I've, I've been um, involved with for the past couple of years, I think it's, it's very, very good. So I would say to uh, definitely make sure that they take advantage when they see um, the advertisements for these different events or if there are committees that they can get on, you know, that are uh, tailored towards veterans and, you know, any type of assistance that they can get, I would you know, definitely um, advise them of that. I would definitely advise them if they don't know where to start, start with their veteran affairs representative and they can actually, you know, give them additional information. I would say to pair up with someone in in these organizations that can become a buddy or a mentor to them to keep them abreast of what's going on. You know, I, I think that the best thing is is for them to stay grounded and stay focused um, and, and to not get discouraged and don't give up.